वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी रिहोलॉजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फूड मटेरियल्स एंड रिहोलॉजिकल मॉडल्स एंड देयर इक्वेशंस सो दिस इज द लेक्चर नंबर एलेवन टू थर्टीन फ्रॉम द कोर्स इंजीनियरिंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल प्रोड्यूस सो दिस कोर्स बिलोंग टू दर्ड सेमिस्टर ऑफ बी टेक एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग डिग्री प्रोग्राम सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल कवर रिहोलॉजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फूड मटेरियल्स एंड रिहोलॉजिकल मॉडल्स एंड देयर इक्वेशंस सो स्टार्टिंग विद द विस्को इलास्टिक नेचर मेजोरिटी ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल मटेरियल्स आर विस्को इलास्टिक इन नेचर सो दिस विस्को इलास्टिक नेचर इज बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ मॉइस्चर इन द सॉलिड एंड वाइस वर्सा मीन्स द विस्कस नेचर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द सॉलिड वाइल इलास्टिक नेचर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द लिक्विड सो और द मॉइस्चर so these materials do not exhibit mechanical behavior in the true sense when subjected to time varied load the properties are called as rheological properties so science of deformation on flow the definition of rheology is the science devoted to the study of deformation and flow of the material when the applied force results in deformation and flow in the material the mechanical properties will be referred to as rheological properties the mechanical behavior of a biological material is expressed in terms of three parameters that is force deformation and time ideally a material may behave in any of the three ways that is it can be behaves like elastic or it can be behaves like plastic material or it can behaves like a viscous material so it allows that the three fundamental rheological parameters are elasticity plasticity and viscosity so if the material behaves like elastic material it means it must have elasticity in it if it behaves like plastic it must have plasticity in it and if it behaves like viscous material it should have some viscosity so since food products really exhibit any of these behavior the concept serves only as a basis for development of more complex theory the basic rheological behavior of biological material is shown in this particular figure so rheology is nothing but the deformation and flow deformation can be elastic and inelastic and flow can is plastic and viscous flow elastic behavior is represented by hooken body and non hooken body in hooken body the ratio of stress to strain is straight line the graph followed straight path while the cycle of loading and unloading is non or is not linear in non hooken bodies so in in elastic deformation it is categorized into viscoelastic and viscoplastic the behavior of the substance under the applied load is shown by the graphs so also like the deformation flow is also categorized into plastic flow and viscous flow plastic flow are again categorized as bingham plastic flow and non bingham plastic flow and the behavior of the material under the applied load is shown by the graphs viscous flow are of two types that is newtonian in which it follows the follows the path in a straight line that is a relation between stress to stress is a linear so non newtonian liquid 
the graph of fish shown in the diagram so this is about the basic geological behavior of biological materials so the ideal elastic behavior the ideal elastic behavior exists when the stress that is sigma on a body is directly proportional to the strain that is epsilon so it follows the basic root law that is sigma is directly proportional to epsilon or sigma or stress is directly proportional to strain that is sigma by epsilon is equal to capital E so here E is the modulus of elasticity or Young's modulus equation 1 will only applicable when the material is under tensile or compressive stresses in case of shear stress or hydrostatic pressure the coefficients involved become shear modulus and bulk modulus respectively in case of ideal viscous fluid when a force is applied to cause shear flow the equation becomes eta is equal to minus tau by du by dy so, so where du by dy is the strain rate based on the experimental evidences agricultural products are viscoelastic in nature most agricultural products behaves like a non-linear viscoelastics in a linear viscoelastic material the ratio of stress to strain is a function of time alone and not of the stress magnitude so this is the important one the in a linear viscoelastic material the ratio of stress to strain that is sigma by epsilon is a function of time alone and not of the stress magnitude for a number of viscoelastic materials linear viscoelastic response can be achieved experimentally if the deforming stresses are kept sufficient small so mechanical models so there are various models which are designed in order to represent the behavior of the biological material under applied load so mechanical models consisting of spring and dashboards are used to interpret the rheological behavior of all linear viscoelastic materials the model is supposed to behave qualitatively to some degree of approximation in a manner similar to that of an actual material though the model consists of a spring and dashboard the spring obeys the hooke's law and the dashboard obeys the newtonian liquid dashboard is nothing but a piston that moves in a cylinder in a to and fro direction so for the dashboard and other models containing a dashboard stress stress relation is time dependent so so this particular figure shows the mechanical models that is stress stress relationship first there is a kelvin model in kelvin model spring and dashboard are connected in a parallel so when we plot the graph or we if we study the mechanical behavior under applied load we will get the graph like this that is epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 and in a maxwell model spring and dashboard are connected in a series in that case the graph will look like this which is shown at the extreme right hand side of the slide so electrical analogy in the electrical analogy the spring is replaced by a capacitance and the dashboard by resistance the tension and compression of the spring corresponds to charging and discharging of the capacitor. The work done on the dashboard is dissipated as heat just as the work done on the electrical resistance is converted to heat. The stress is represented by the electrical potential that is voltage and the strain by electric current. So this electrical analogy is the best way is explained by this figure okay it is exactly opposite to the models represented in the previous slide that is maxwell model kelvin model and four elements Berthier model 
so the 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 exact opposite picture seen can be seen in this electrical analogy of the spring and dashboard so thank you in this way we have covered the rheological behavior of the material in part 1 so the remaining uh, part of this particular topic will be covered in the subsequent video lecture thank you